Broadway Premier League. That's brought to you by the Professional Dance Corporation. We are live on Sky Sports, and at this time, we welcome the millions of viewers joining us around the world. It's time to meet the players. Would you please welcome from the Netherlands, taking part in the second Premier League, ladies and gentlemen, the former Lakeside champion, the Cobra Jura Wait, Martin, it wasn't the uh, warmest of receptions to feel about Taylor. No, uh, hostile to a, to a point. Look, but we're, we're in Wales, and Englishmen have never gone down too well in Wales in sporting terms. But we know we know Yellow Klassen is is going to be eliminated after this match. So he just want to go up there and, and acquit himself well, and hopefully pick up a win. But two points very handy for Phil. Huge. Three outside on nine points there. Yeah, he can, he can, momentarily he can put himself in, in third spot in the table. That's how tight it is. But it's really becoming evident that Phil is, is not handling kind of the, the crowds very well and he's got to concentrate. He's just got to concentrate. If he does, I think he beats Yellow Classen. But he can't get foiled in any kind of shenanigans. Is he going to make the end of season playoffs or not? As we speak right now, I don't think he will. But this is this is Phil Taylor. He can find a way, can't he? I just think that there's a lot of players in better form than him right now. Sky Sports likes to bring you closer to the action. We've got ref cam tonight to show you the ref side view. There you have it. Close as you can get to seeing Phil Taylor. His armpit there, actually, is what we <laughs> saw. Can he start in fine style? Will he fill it up? Nearly. John Parton, Stuart Pike in commentary. Thanks, Dave. Yes, uh, a big night here in Cardiff for many of the players as the race for the playoffs pops up. The uh, tightest Premier League race for many, many years. Just three points separating the top six. And the Taylor must win. Will Yellow Classen uh, be a wild card? Will he go out on a high? in his last appearance in the Premier League at 2017. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, excellent stuff. Really, it'll be the most relaxed appearance he's had all year. What an opportunity for any dark player to play the legend that is Phil Taylor in this sort of an atmosphere. 
although he might not have any position on the line here, he has, you know, his place in his, his own place, his own opportunity to get a famous win, if you will. Well, one five one, so treble seventeen. And would have left tops. Taylor on one five one before one this. Classen on 19. one six four. So Taylor has left double sixteen to win the opening leg. Sixty four on throw here in the opening match in Cardiff. Yeah, lucky thirteen in this case. Good open to the match for Phil. Of course, the, uh, the scene of Taylor's last victory last September won the inaugural Champions League here on this stage. Yeah, big win for him against Peter Wright in Manchester for those back to back defeats against Michael Van Gerwen and Adrian Lewis. 140. Yeah, nothing to lose for Klassen, so let's see what he can produce. And there we have it. Ref camp. An interesting view. Of course, the referee isn't looking that way. <laughs> 60. <laughs> Might upset the players if he did. Just see that the camera wrap round George Noble's left arm. A unique perspective of what the players are doing and the throw, the throwing style as well from a different angle. Yeah, more ways to catch them out as if they're doing any gamesmanship. <laughs> there we have You're it. Being watched. <laughs> that is an excellent view. So close to the actual throwing action. Makes it easier and easier to learn when you get views like that. And like that, straight on. So to level it up, dominant leg on throw for Klassen. Topsy needs. Good, steady leg from Yellow Klassen. It, it, it's been a, a chastening experience, hasn't it, for, for Klassen again in the, in the Premier League. What's gone wrong, do you think, John? At key moments, he, he faltered a bit. He did have a good campaign, much as, as Kim Hybrex had. But in a lot of ways, the standard was there, just not there at some key moments. I think he, you know, two people are going to go out. So do we say the two people that go out didn't deserve to be there? I, I don't think so in this case. It's just that they were the guys that were outplayed this year. Uh, they've comported themselves very well at most points. Yeah, I agree at the time for me without doubt that Hybrex and, and Klass the right picks. And, and I wouldn't say their performances over the course of the year uh, took away a lot from their reputation as players. They're both very dangerous. Just to bring you the very latest on Yellow Klass, he's, he's played injured, hasn't he, for uh, a few weeks now. The tendonitis, he actually injured uh, his wrist before the World Championship at the Alexandra Palace. Uh, Klassen had a scam this week, saw a specialist. Let's we'll just see if Taylor will have a crack at 1-6-1. One, one. And Klassen will have Nine, surgery two. on his wrist in the middle of May. Confirm that tonight, Klassen. He will have surgery to cure the tendonitis, and he reckons he'll be missing for two or three weeks. So trouble 16. Eight for tops or 16 for double 16. Wants to stay down there. 48. This a break Here opportunity now for Glasson. And may just eat it up. So 20 for tops. 50. Well, it was awkward. He had to move. And even the dart that was thrown at the double, you could see it. It caught the flight, didn't it? Or a chance for Glasson. A chance missed. Will he get another opportunity? Will he get another chance? Eight. Well, you wouldn't have believed it if we told you that was going to happen. It did, though, so Glasson now, a good marker as well to come alongside, and he does so to break. 
takes a 2-1 lead and Phil and all sorts of problems here because Klassen with nothing to lose can just enjoy playing a game of darts yeah. and a bit of personal and professional pride as well John of course Klassen had a very good win against Phil in the world championship a couple of world championships ago and uh, we know he's capable of beating Phil but I don't care if you beat him once or five times you, every time you can beat Phil Taylor, you're going to think, wow, I did something special. Yeah. Well, only won three times ever against Taylor. And that memorable World Championship victory. 2016 World Championship. In the last 16, four sets to three in a tie break. It was an epic, wasn't it? Ali Pali epic. 57. There impossibly lies the, the problem for Klassen in the in the Premier League. Too many indifferent scores. He can hit a 180, and then a 41, a 57, and yeah, and he, he, he almost lost his advantage in the leg there, and, and opened the door for Phil to break straight back. And he needs a treble here to kind of avoid that from playing out. And again, as you said, an almost indifferent turn, but it was it was actually tightness. He knew he need what he needed in that turn. And just within trying to win a game of darts, he was a little tight there. 60. Well, a let off for Klassen. Six darts without a big treble for the Dutchman. 107. Well, that's much better. Terrific to leave tops. But I wonder, Taylor on 1 4 1. Uh, just didn't quite throw that first dart. Does a good job though. Well, he was unlucky to hit the ball. It's tops for 3 1. Phil, he doesn't panic easily and he won't be here. He'll just get on with it, hold his throw, and look for another opportunity to break back again. Three legs on the spin for Klassen. Yeah, I don't think that's going to bother Phil in itself. He, he can read the situation, he can see a way back. He's constructed a game plan already in his head. And he just needs to execute. He knows that. 97. And different from Taylor. 100. Improved from Klassen. Perfect lie. Second the there. was coming, John. And again, just putting some pressure on Taylor. Yeah, well, Taylor's average out at 91. Four Good missed on. darts for double to give away that leg. And before, and that's probably the real difference. Oh, this is the sort of darts 22. that Klassen has played throughout the Premier League. And why, you know, it, somebody has to lose, and he hasn't been the best in terms of timing. So that's why he's out. Well, Taylor in real trouble here. 82. Klassen will be back for another go. This for a double break of throw. And I'll tell you what, all the other players backstage will be looking at this with great interest. Because, of course, a, a class of victory benefits them all. It certainly does. 177. What, what class, though, from Phil Taylor to leave double. It won't matter, though. It's still 4-1 with another break. And Phil better hope that Klassen doesn't hit a 12 or an 11 dart leg here. And signs are looking good. Whoa. Said that, but he's right back in the treble 20. So that's an opening here. There's hope for Phil. Be playing through the pain barrier. Yellow Klassen. But, uh, arguably his best performance of the Premier League so far. Just one win for the Dutchman in eight games. That was against Dave Chisnell. 140. Um, Phil Taylor. A defeat here would be a big, big blow to his hopes of reaching those playoffs, wouldn't it? 99. 
Really, it's a bit unlucky for Phil, the situation as it developed. You know, had uh, Yella beaten Adrian last week, and he was still in contention here, he's going to be all tight and nervous as well. So, really, Phil didn't get a chance uh, at the bottom of the table in the, in the league still. Opportunity. He got a guy who's just got nothing to lose and is playing like it. He's really good so far, Classic. 140 would be perfect oh, for Taylor. 40, He's giving himself a chance here to get a break of throw back. Classic, though. No? Oh, he went for double double, didn't he? Yeah, you have to love that. Why not? He's got to assume Phil will hit the 60. Two darts for tops. And a perfect dart to break back. Get one of the breaks back. Still not where he needs to be. Well, Taylor, of course, admitted that the motivation isn't there anymore, that he values his downtime uh, more than he values the darts at the minute, or part of the plan of winding down before retiring from competitive professional darts after the world championship but you know 96. i think a situation where he finds himself 4-1 down he'll think come on the competitive edge will surely return and here we have the perfect example back to back 140s he won't want to lose it hates losing no matter what but i just feel that this situation taylor made for taylor well, if he holds throw, that's two legs, and, and he has some momentum, and, and he is. You know, class may be worried to not hold his own throw, so. And there, a 180. Just to emphasize that momentum, to create it more. A, a, a to panic the, the opponent. Sorry, Stuart. All of a sudden, as well, Taylor's average has gone from 91 to 100 in the last three legs. Best leg of the match. And that's a way to put some fear into your opponent. So, Taylor, although he's a leg down, I think the psychology in the match has him a leg up. Have to switch now. 59. Impressive from both now. Yellow class him. He was throwing that dart, you could see, before Phil Taylor had, had got past eye view, and perhaps that was an error in hindsight. Well, yeah. And Phil, he's 140 yard back, but this is such a key leg, and he might expect a few bad steps from Klassen along the way in the side of this leg, and that he will get an opportunity if he just stays close enough. In fact, Phil can create an opportunity with a maximum here. Leave a finish. Didn't quite get the right distance there, but still an effective turn. Gets ahead of Klassen a bit. Big visit for Klassen here, I feel. And needs to switch, keep the numbers with a chance to leave an out shot, but no out shot. And now, six starts for Taylor for 247 to break throw and level the match. He's going to have to get a treble or two. 59. And absolutely spurn the opportunity. That's a gift for Klassen. Oh, dear. 37. <laughs> well, you can say there's nothing on the line, but dignity can be the biggest factor. 100. The problem is for Klassen is that his wrist tends to tighten up and become really painful the longer a game goes on. 41. Uh, and that Do we require reoccurring eight? problem seems to have affected the Dutchman again here in Cardiff. Yeah, he's giving it a good shake as he walks back. You can see he's trying to loosen it. Bullseye with level. 63. But it's still a lot to yeah, ask for a man who's feeling a bit of discomfort in more ways than one. 
124. Well, just in case Taylor misses, but clearly Klassen in a bit of pain on the stage here in Cardiff. In the pain for Klassen. Game for Taylor. It's 4-4. Nice leg field to throw back. Game on. There it is. The tendonitis. If you are just Jordan, just confirming, Klassen will have an operation on that in the middle of May. It will put him out for probably three weeks. But needs Ooh. must, has to be done. You know, it's okay playing for four or five legs, and then the pain sets in, and then the trouble begins. When you have the surgery scheduled, you know it's not uh, an iffy thing. It's definitely a problem. 100. One hundred and forty. Well, one forty, 140, one forty. Ref cam as close as you can get to the player. A dart being released as Taylor looks for another maximum. Then have to settle for a ninth 140. Easy two. Do we require 161? Third dart saves the opportunity for Klassen, maybe. And this would be great. The whole throw needs the bullseye for a 161. So needs to be clinical and hit this double eight, get it done, take the lead, and he does. Well, Taylor won the opening leg, Klassen won the next four, and Taylor has won the last four. 140. 100 finishing by both classes. 4 out of 7, Taylor 5 out of 11. It's that one leg, leg 3, when Taylor missed 4 darts to hold throw. Easy one. Taylor relishes the challenge though, doesn't he, John? You'll miss that. Yeah, it's not just automatic uh, that he performs at his top level. Not in this day and age. And sometimes he needs his attention to be caught by his opponent. And certainly, Klassen did that early going. Played very well. And as we see, he's just lost control of that wrist. I think Phil knows it too, and it's affecting his concentration a little. Certainly debilitating again for the Dutchman. Well, let her finish. How much pressure will it be under? Just one trouble would do that, and oh, Phil has done that. Won't need to trouble his next visit if he gets one. He might not, you know. Trouble 19. No. Sometimes a little adrenaline helps you through some pain. So one dart that tops for at least a point. Well, a chance for Klassen to stay in it and get something out of this. Well done. Left leg to first. Yeah, five out of eight for double. Aspect of his game. Seemingly unaffected by his poor wrist. Oh, 
Well, no matter how you look at this leg, it's, it's a must win for Phil. 41. Because it's his, his throw. His, uh, each leg of the next two legs is worth a point, essentially. 100. Well, we're going the distance in this opening match. Still to come, Gary Anderson against Adrian Lewis. 93. Raven Van Barnevel taking on James Wade and then to round off night nine here in Cardiff. Michael Van Gerwen and Dave Chisnell. 100. And there might be a few 180s in that game, Stuart. Fifty-seven. Biggest 180 so far. Raymond Van Barnevel, 34. leave a finish but kind of put some pressure on Phil not much it looks like double 12 perfect two dart way. execution two of an 81 out shot From leg, to there's a point for Phil so some relief he wants two points though he would not be happy if he doesn't break class in here and get the full two I wonder if it does finish 6-6 is that a point lost for Taylor, or bearing in mind he was 4-1 down, is it a point gained? No, it, it's just lost all the way. Not only does he have someone that didn't make the cut, but someone dealing with an injury, so and, and that may be affected his, his, his effort tonight, Phil's effort, I mean, because when you know these things, it takes your edge away, because you, you think, okay, I'm all right. You want edge when you play darts. You always want to have your, your teeth in, out, and ready to go. 59. Uh, unable to take advantage of Clashton. Clashton's poor visit. 134. Oh, great shot to put pressure on Phil. See, as spectators, we can enjoy watching this. Phil respond to the pressure he's under. Oh, and that's unfortunate. 80. He's going to need a bit of luck as well as poise. And there was none there to yeah. be had. Hit the barrel, didn't it? With the first dart on the way through. Forty-one. And there is a bit of luck for Phil because that one meant no finish for Glasson. Here's the poise. Whoa. Typical Taylor. Absolutely typical Taylor. Now, we wouldn't have got that if he hadn't been under some pressure. It's wonderful to see. Well, from 4 1 down, this would be a big, big win. And he knows it. Yellow class and bow down of the Premier League. But Phil Taylor does come from 4 1 down. You never know. They could be two priceless points for the power in the race for the playoffs at the 0-2. Taylor gets the job done just. He beats class at 
And rounding off the night, mighty Michael Van Guren against Dave Chisholm. Vital win for Phil Taylor. Moves on to 11 points, third position. That is Yellow Classen's final match of his Premier League campaign. Let's hear from Phil Taylor now, talking to Rod Stud. Phil, well done on the win. Just give us your reflections, if you could, please. That, it was so close, it was... He, he, I know he's struggling with his wrist, I know that. And uh, beginning when I went to double eight, on the, on the second, well, the third leg, sorry, I thought, you, you're going to get beat here, Taylor, and I thought, you better start fighting back. And my first start just getting above the wire again, it was, it was driving me crazy. But he, he didn't play like he can, obviously, and, and I got through. So two points in the bag, that's all I can say, really. As you mentioned, everyone knows Yella's got a wrist problem. Did you get the feeling he was running out, not of gas, but struggling with it towards the back end? Not at the beginning, no. I think the beginning he, he was he was brilliant, and then it just seemed to dip during the middle, and then he started coming back towards the end. We, we all know he's struggling a little bit, and, and, and psychologically that's in your mind as well. So you're thinking this is two points in the bag, and it's not, because he's a dangerous player. Obviously, he's not qualified now, thank God, because he is one of them dangerous players where you, you don't know who you're playing. You know, he's just... 140, 140, and then a 41. He's, he's a little bit like jockey at the minute, how jockey used to play, sorry, but... No, last week you produced a 180 and went out 62, I think, then a 180 to about 42 this time to get up to the top four. You're getting, the, you're getting the, the big scores and the big finishes when it matters. It was in my mind as well. It's ever so weird whether, whether it inspires you, but I was thinking last week against PT, you, want, you needed a 180, yeah, yeah. and I'm looking thinking, you need a 180, and it went in. It was probably my first 180, I think, but... It went in, and I'm so pleased, obviously, I'm so pleased. Get the, and the double 16 wasn't even close. I lived closer than that, and then the double eight went in. Because, again, thinking you've already hit two or three double eights, you know what it is, it hit the thing, you know, and it went in. Well, well done, look, it's uh, the Welsh leg of your farewell tour. It, it, it's been another good one for you, hasn't it? Oh, it's been lovely, yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, for me last year, it's, it's fantastic, it really is, and much appreciated, and much appreciated the turnout, the support, you know, the noisiness of everybody, it's been great. Good. Well done, well played. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you.